everyone and welcome to the Accra Sports Stadium where this afternoon we're bringing you continuing coverage of match day 14 in the Bet Power Ghana Premier League. My name is Prince and together with Prof Judah Champo we'll walk you through the effort going to be put in by the Hunters. So there we have the applause for the departed Lepura MND Jawula. A centre referee Rostom Senogwe gets us underway in this game as Bechem United play from right to left. And the vociferous fans of Legon City is in attendance. Good ball control. Flag is already up. Whistle has gone. Now this was good for Bechem United. The cross is on. Careful defending now. Ball headed out by Suleiman Mohammed, but doesn't go too far. And eventually they put the pieces together. Threat has been thwarted. Careful build up there. Jashi Bote. Long ball forward in team now. Options. Alexis in the middle. Ball comes to Alexis. Cools it down. Opportunity for Legon City. And it's cleared out. Appeals for handball. Rostum Senegbe was close. Good fighting spirit by us. So as they come forward now, he's waiting for a telling pass from Apedu. There's a chance for Lagos City as they come forward. Goalkeeper makes himself large and eventually cleared into safety. Yeah, the pass from Ampedu, perfect pass. The touch was excellent. And he should be finishing with a flourish. Good save from Harun Aziz. Good ball control by Jashi Bote on the near side will be Suleiman Mohammed. A long ball forward. Alex deals with it nicely. Alex gets a return pass. He's going through. It's dangerous. Goal. He gets it across. And there is the first goal. Tenacity of purpose has resulted in the first goal for Legon City. This is top notch. Unstoppable. Amazing play. Also, again, he started the move. One, two between him and his strike partner, Dennis. But look at him here. Fearless. And just look at how he finished with a flourish. Amazing finish from Alex Asso. He started everything here. And look at his movement. The speed. How he went past Kofi Akbesime. But here, in a very acute angle, he was able to slot the ball past the goalkeeper, Aruna. Great finish. Unstoppable finish. This is top-notch, amazing goal from Alex Esso. And these faces will tell you all, it's not over until it's over. A slip there by Aqua gives the opportunity to Michael Lampedu. Into the 18-yard box, good recovery by Bechem United. But it's not done and dusted. Looking for another opportunity. Yes, was he? And he had to take Abebio to come back stronger. Chem United are coming forward slowly but surely. That's a lovely pass, but Francis Aqua failed to respond quickly. Suli gets the ball over the line. It's an advantage of a corner kick to Bechem United. And Rustom Senegwe would have a quick word with Bechem United's Joseph Kinfo, who's come forward. The cross is on. Not dealt with nicely. Quick response. Bechem United are back in the game. Yeah, and it's a shocker. The defense of the cities all over the place couldn't deal with that cross from Clinton Dodo and there. Look at the delivery. Ninja Shibote rose high, couldn't knock the ball away, couldn't hand that ball away from danger, but just when he fell for Avonio, he's that quick, he, he's slightly quick. Yeah, just look at that precision and intelligence. It's Ampedu's free kick. Headed out nicely in team. Shot from a distance is blocked. Bechem United, they are not out of the uh, woods yet. Moro. Awkward bounce and then the flag is up on the near side. Yes, Avonio. Lays the pass on again, looking for Clinton Dodo to latch on. Clinton gets the first. Now an opportunity for Bechem United. Goalkeeper scores. Full mark, Saki that is. An eventual connection. Or the rebound blasted wide by uh, Konkoni Hafiz. And again, Bechem should be taking their chances. 
Yeah, when it fell for Kokori, as a striker in a in that area, he should be finishing with a flourish again. He's he's not been himself. It's still all squared here, one goal apiece. Alex Aso has been let loose again. Akbishima has to recover nicely. Menu to the uh, far side. They're looking for the import of Bonsu. Took a ricochet of one of the Bechem United players, but goalkeeper, quick reflexes. Bonsu tries to cut through, twisting and turning, and eventually blasts wide. Mazozi gets to the ball. Mireku through the middle. Nasiru with a long drive. Lovely hit from the captain. Was able to wrap his foot around the ball and yeah, hit it so well on the turf. Good save. Through the middle, Bechem United look good. Keeping the ball to themselves through the middle. That's an opportunity for Clinton Dodu. Easy does it, easy as pie. All he needed to do was to tap in. Bechem United are on a hunting spree. Slowly pass Sylvester Saki. But here, disastrous defending from Lagos City. See, Bonsu went in, couldn't get any of the ball. But just look at the finish from Clinton Dodu. A super. The build up here, not really straight, but when the Wusu get on to the ball, he's trying to pick a pass. But bad defending, very poor defending. And he allowed Clinton Dodu to get the ball. He, he controls it perfectly well onto his left and slice it past Saki, and it's, it's majestic finish. Bechem United through the middle, latched on by Tenle. It's looking good for the Hunters. Clinton sends a cross. <laughs> so it's Ampedu. It flies away. Bechem United, fancy goal number three. That's Clinton. The Gun Cities have some time to uh, get back in uh, defense. It's still with uh, Clinton Dodu. Goes round Bonsu, sent in the cross, but dealt with. And Pedu said that they didn't go too far. The shot is on target against the cross post. Oh! Eventually, Hafiz Konkoni gets his name on the score sheet. He's, he's the little magician for Bechem United today. Twist and turn and sends the ball in there with that cross. But when I do Karum hit that ball with a lot of venom, goalkeeper stop making that save. He's drifting away from the goalkeeper, hits the post. But look at the reaction of Kokodi. Amazing play from Bechem United. Super play, twisted and turned. And it was Clinton Dodu sensing that delivery, not well dealt with. And here, when he fell for Karim, struck it so well, goalkeeper is not stopping that. Hits the post. and. The quickest to react was Konkoni this time around, hitting the ball at the back of the net. And Legon City's need to push men up front. It's a long ball dealt with by Bechem United. Rostom Senogbe believes that we've had enough 90 minutes. Legon City's have lost yet again at home by one goal to three against Bechem United. Final score at the Accra Sports Stadium. Legon City's 1, Bechem United 3.